KQ4CC in here with you. Hello, folks. Today, I'll talk to you about another little radio. We've talked about the H3. We've got one right here. It's got the Make Sure firmware on it. We've seen this one a time or three. And, uh, good little radio, H3. Okay. So, sticking with the TID radio family, we're going to talk to you a little bit about its big brother. Let's take a look at it. H8 from TID Radio. So, we're on the Parrot node here in Plano, Texas. Let's do a little audio check. KQ4 CCM. Test one, test two, test three, test four, test five. Uh, here on the TID Radio H8. Audio level is low. Uh, here on the 10 radio, H8. I was talking a little soft, so let's try it one more time. This is KQ4 CCM, your friend, the truck in hand, talking at a normal level. Testing the audio on the 10 radio, H8. Audio level is pretty good. CCM, your friend, the for some reason there's a lot of noise come through it won't usually happen like that maybe because there's some stuff charging or something sometimes that does happen when you got a lot going and running back there we've been working on that sound but anyway that's beside the point so h8 very good radio I'm using the all scan and the node is right up there. If you can see it right up there. And so sometimes we get a little a little noise in there. Oh, and the LEDs are running, so that's probably what it is. LEDs always put a little noise in your stuff. Uh, and I'm running the all scan. Here's what the all scan looks like. And then Here's what the actual Superman 2 page looks like, and you can see that we're on uh, Plano, Texas. I just like the all-star interface, so if we want to put it, say, like on the rag tube, we can hit disconnect. Somebody's on the 2.0. Let's go right here. Let's go see who's on there. Okay, 5.30 your time. Uh, and that, and, uh, yeah. It's on 5. Oh, no, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, well, that's the border uh, merger now. That's exactly uh, what that is. That's the RAG 2.0. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, there was one thing that we put it on 60568, which is our main node. Nobody's talking. All right, there we go. Man, I wish you could shorten it. I don't need all that. But I need to go ahead and go do that. Okay. <laughs> it's identified. It'll be done in a second. There we go. Oh, and by the way, I love how the battery is chamfered. It's rounded off on the battery, and the battery, if you can see, is actually contoured in a way that it fits your hand just, I mean, perfect. It's got a like a Motorola-esque feel to it. I mean, it feels a lot like a Motorola. It feels so good in the head. And if you see, you can put your hand like this, and it blocks it. See how that's raised? See how that's kind of raised there? to where you can hold it just like that and just slightly touch it. KQ4 CCM right here on the Rag Chew. All Star 60568. Everyone's having a good and blessed day. This is your friend, the shrinking hand. And so, yeah, are you hearing that? No tail squelch at all. First got the radio every time you had a tail squelch. Now, Marcus Dugley is working on the uh, 
Nick Shoremod and the Nick SW. That's Mike. Say hello. Well, hello, Mike. We're here on the All Star side uh, on the TID Radio H3. I'm actually making a TikTok video. We're getting ready to put it out here in just a little bit. Kilo, Kilowatt 4, Foxtrot Uniform. My friend in the metropolis of Dazel. How you doing there? You want to tell anybody on TikTok? Uh, you got anything to say to the my friends there on TikTok and YouTube there, Mike? Let's see what Mike has to say. He's a cat bird. He's my buddy. I really like him. Oh, uh, yeah. I just say hello to everybody. My name's Mike, and we're located here in South Carolina. I've been here for a while. And we always get to get here on the Star Lane, more on the digital side. And we just have a big time. But uh, hello, all just listening. <laughs> Well, thank you there, Mike QSL. Now, Mike is talking on a TID Radio H3, and I'm talking on its big brother, the TID H8. So, anyway, y'all know what to do. Uh, y'all hit that like button, hit the follow button. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe for more. But as I was saying, uh, I'm on, I'll be right back, Mike. I'm going to wrap this video up. KQ4, CCM. Uh, so y'all know what to do uh, uh, hit that button like I said but here's the thing if you want the radio with no tail squelch and all the benefits update it to the latest firmware that's what I did to this radio and there's no tail squelch okay I'm testing one two three four five six I'm going to unkey and demonstrate there is no tail squelch whatsoever on the HA. So that was three times, as you can hear. All we've get back is the courtesy tone or the end tone from the asterisk, which is uh, what runs the All Star note, and it's just giving you do do. You're not giving that doo doo. So there's a lot of things fixed, like the mic gain issue that they was having. It's fixed in the latest firmware. So the TID Radio H8 is a very good radio. And compared, let me let me show you the size compared to the Motorola. Let me get my Motorola out. It's very Motorola-ish, especially the digital Motorola's. So here's my Motorola HT1250, uh, which I talk a lot on. I can talk on it on that one right now. It's on my GMRS node. But here it is. It's about the same width. But just like Motorola's got the back chamfered and even tailored to your hand here on the battery. So when you've got it in the hand. Let me show you here. I've got this mic. I can't easily take it off. <laughs> you can see how. It's got the, the, the close feel. See how that is just open right there, but it's kind of blocked. So when you got it in your hand, you're not just accidentally PTT. That is actually followed through. And that's one thing I like, followed through right here. And then you've got this stop right here. So your hand, you don't, you don't just drop it. Man, I really like this ready go. And now it does not have a USB-C like the H three halves under its flap so that's one big difference don't have the USB so it's not USB-C programmer yeah, however it does have Mike's telling me he's going. okay roger roger KQ4CCM KK4 if you we'll talk to you a little bit later there Mike 73 for now but uh, so it does have the uh, USB for the charger, for right there's USB. So, oh, but it does right. it does have Bluetooth uh, on here, and uh, so let me see if I can show you. If you hit the BL button right here, Bluetooth's gone. Bluetooth's on. Now I usually leave the Bluetooth off just to save the battery, unless you're programming and it's programmable from. OD Master app. So anyway, 7-3 and have a good one. Stay tuned.